guys, so I'm going to do a proper intro in a bit, but I just wanted to say this is so much worse than what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I've literally had hardly any sleep and I'm in so much pain. I might have maxed out on most of my pain medications, but there is some stuff up there now and she's going to go get me some something else i don't want to name any names of any drugs because i know it can be triggering for some people who have opioid addictions etc so yeah and because i've been crying so much i've pretty much rubbed pulled out all my fake eyelashes on my right this eye so it looks ridiculous now but I really don't care. And also my lip is still super swollen on this side, so. You're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> um, Tom's on his way, he's bringing my feed. It's only 500 mils, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. We're just gonna have to try my best to run my feed and speak to my dietitian and I don't know. I hope they see the pain team as well before I go. I really, really want to go today. I just want to get everything sorted so I can go home. Oh, God. Anyway, that was the little update for now. But I'll do a proper update when I'm feeling better and not as in as much pain. Because at the moment, you can probably tell I've been crying a lot. <laughs> and it's been a really, really, really rough night, including my tube leaked bile all over the bed. And then this was at like 1 a.m. And then I had to sit on a chair while they changed my bed. And I had to get changed myself because I actually got changed out of a gown. This is a different gown. Anyway, long story short, I was sat on the chair and then I was like almost passed out. So I had to then get on the bed and then they had to make the bed while I was on it because I couldn't move. I was so dizzy and my blood pressure was so low, so anyway, I'll uh, update you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so oh, it's been a while since I updated. Tom's here. I don't think oh. it, oh, you're always lurking. I don't think I updated you guys this morning when he was here. My lips still really like fat. Um, we started feeds. Um, so far they're causing quite a bit of pain. Um, the plan was to actually stay tonight to manage pain and stuff, but I really wasn't keen for that. So now we've decided that I can go home today and my GP does have a pain management plan in place. So whether we have, to, whether we see her today to find out what that is or whether it's Monday, I'm not sure. But at the moment, I'm just waiting, I'm going to be waiting on some pain relief and then what else? Absolutely. Oh, and then we're going to wait for the nurse to come and show us basic care for my PJ. Peg. Peg. I don't know. I can't. Peg J. I can't think properly. Um, so, yeah. I'm still in quite a lot of pain, but I'm rather manage it at home than be stuck here for I don't know how many days. So, basically, yeah. I had a doctor come in, which I really didn't recognise. Yeah, basically that's the update. So hopefully we're going to get all the stuff sorted out for discharge. And we can go home. Also, update on the TPN situation. I'm not really sure what's happening because my dietitian isn't here today. So she didn't know. But the dietitian that I saw this morning was looking into it for me. And she did see, she said that she saw some stuff written about it on the system. So that's a good thing, I guess. Um... However, she agreed that we don't want my weight to drop anymore, so she's definitely going to speak to my dietitian about that. My dietitian's going to contact me in some way. God, this is really bothering me. I don't really understand what happened with it for it to get this big. I don't know. Anyway, basically, I'm just I just want to get home, so... And also, any of you have any name suggestions for my pedge? I don't know what we should name it. Uh, and I'm kind of excited to see 
to see it without all these dressings on because the dressings go quite high up. That's my bra look. So I'm kind of, I want to see what it looks like without all this. So hopefully when the nurse comes to show me how to care that we can have a look at it. Hey guys, so this will be such a change of scene since you guys last saw me and probably I look a lot better. Um, I've been home a few days now, um, well quite more than a few days, um, but I'm home in my own bed, resting, getting better every day. But it's a really really tough recovery and I don't have a lot of energy. Um, so basically I just want to come on and say I hope you guys are okay, thank you so much for the love. I know I haven't really been active on any social media, but as soon as I'm feeling better and like well enough, I promise, I will be back to vlogging and all that stuff. And I also have some quite a few exciting things as well that I want to talk about when I'm feeling up to it, but I just wanted to end the vlog because I don't even know what happened. Like, I was saying that I was meant to be discharged and then that didn't happen. Anyway, yeah, long story short, I'm home now, everything's fine. Um, things are still really tough and, you know, doing stuff's tough. Like, I'm in a lot of pain and I've kind of got another, like, flu type thing on top of how I'm feeling. Like, with temperatures and just feeling, like, very fluy. Um, so, yeah. But I love you all so much. If you enjoyed this vlog, I know it was a bit short, um, but give it a big thumbs up anyway and hit that subscribe button and I hope I'll be back soon. I love you all so much. And my dogs are barking again. <laughs> Bye guys.